Um, anyway, let's get into it, man. We got to really talk. Let's go, yep. bro. Brother, Mr. Listen, Oscar. yes, he's, he's entered the chat, fam. Like, it's been a while, yeah. And I've got to say, before we get into this heavy year, because that win over, over Jordan Thompson was was starting to behold. Shouts out to Jordan Thompson, man. Jordan As Thompson, he, he, he was brave. He went for he it. He was. He, he was he, very he, brave. They rang his number. He said, yeah, I accept. And as a fighter, you can't ask for more from somebody who moves like that in today's era. Mm -hmm. um, but Jay Appetite, it's been a while since I've watched a fighter here yeah, for the first time and become a fan straight away. Mm. And considering he was going up against my dark fan, because I know Jordan as well. So I was watching it thinking, oh. you know, you're watching it thinking, oh, but at the same time, it's like, this guy's good though, bro. Like, this is mad. <laughs> Hey, don't you hate that? when you're that's that's the worst, you know. When you're like, you hate him. No, oh, he's good. Like, I want to hate on everything you're doing, but you're a good fighter. Like, you're showing me things. I'm I'm looking at the footwork, and I'm like, hey, that's beyond, it. that is that's beyond, you know. Yeah, and then you now you hear about his extensive um, background in the amateurs, and bro, amateur fighting, yeah, it's key. It's a key component, you know. Is when is it's a key component because they can figure things out that other fighters take so long to work but, out. Like, like this though. Fights. Bam, bam. You change, I change. It's like, bro. Okay. It's like you moved it out. Yeah. Um, no. But then, so now, you know what's exciting for me? Because the Cruiserweight division needs names. It needs names, right? Vidal Riley is com competing as a cruiser, right? That's yeah. good. So we got Vidal Riley, we got Akoli, we got Opataya, Ap we got um Riakpo, we got Billum Smith. Billum. Yeah, it's starting to Chamberlain. Look, it, it is. Look, it it's is starting to heat up. You know, it's, hey, it's, it's getting warm considering how many British men there are. That's what. Yeah. We're, that's what is. But brother, I'm gonna have to be very real when I say this. Yeah, and maybe yeah. I'm a the moment. No one is seeing this man. He is no clearing. Man. He is clearing that division out. Did what? Do you reckon um, Ben Shalom had an idea that um, he could be dangerous, bro? There's a reason why React Paul never got to see him. Because there's times when you know you look you look back at events and say, you know what? Ben Shalom knew. He knew exactly yeah. what type of time that brother was, was on there. Boy. Yeah, that man had a meeting. He said, "Wait, React Paul's building." Like I've walked Watsi over and it's been quite not really too eventful. Yeah, like Coley's come over and well, it's, he's lost the belt now. There is no way I'm about to give you my Midnight Express. <laughs> 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 We're not about to have that happen straight away. Absolutely yeah, no, yeah. No. I, I can imagine they probably. I don't even know, bro. Them type of ones there where you think, well, I'm not just gonna give you like you're gonna have to sign a lifetime deal, fam. You're gonna have to sign one of them 360 deals. Mm. Because there's no way. There's no way I'm about to just give that over to you. That's that, mad, though. That's mad, man. though. Like, I... it. What's that conversation going like when Ben Shalom has to explain to React Paul why, why that fight ain't happening? Exactly. Hey, hey, and React Paul hey, believes hey. in himself. React Paul believes in himself. He, I that's bet what I'm saying. feels that he could get it done. It's a tough fight. Or how, how transparent do you reckon they are with fighters behind the scenes? Because if man phones up and says... Hey, Richard, I hope you're doing good, man. Yeah, hope everything's all well. Um, look, we're going to go a different direction. I know you were excited about this fight, but I have seen a few of his highlights. And honestly, I don't think you're ready for that type of smoke right now. So I think what we're going to do... Do you know what I mean? Can you imagine if it was that direct? You can't say that. Like, the last time we saw something ridiculous like that is when um, Yard baited up what um, what Thingy's um, trainer said to him. When he Who said, yeah, they didn't want it. You know that, oh, Yard, come on, we did it. Um, wicked jab. It's got a great jab from Manchester. Arthur. Arthur. Arthur's trainer kind of revealed to, like, the, well, Yard baited up. Oh, saying, yeah. He, said to, he, he, goes, he goes, I hurt you, innit? And he's like, he's like, what are you talking about? When he said he, he admitted to hurting him. Trainer, the trainer spoke about it. They said that you didn't want to fight me. Remember, we came back. He said, not now. The time is not now. What oh, no, for the rematch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. this, that, and the other. And it just, it, it's a it's a sign of like, it never works when you when when your team feels that way. You know, no, but it wouldn't, so I couldn't imagine Ben Shalom saying, I think he just made up some excuse saying, yeah, they just didn't want to come to the table. But then when mm. he watched, when he watched um Jay Abataya fight the other day, he yeah, must be watching that like, 
bro. Nice. Three bro. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. But then I still feel that React Paul's got React Paul's still a very dangerous guy, though. You don't he think React Paul's got what because he's got power in both hands as well, but seem yeah, this forward fighter in Opataya. So I do see that React Paul is a very powerful guy. You saw what he did to my guy Jumo fam, and I was bare yeah. annoyed from. I yeah. know his power's real. But sometimes you see these special guys come along and you think, oh, that's not what everyone else is doing. You, yeah. You're doing different things. <laughs> he was, bro, the speed, the southpaw thing, and then having pop on his shots. Yeah. Bro, Jordan Thompson is not a small guy. Jordan, Jordan Thompson, Thompson ain't no pushover. Six, seven. He's really designed for the heavyweight division. Jordan, ain't it? Yeah. And yeah. I'm watching, I'm thinking to myself, oh, okay, so this guy is special then because this yeah. shouldn't be happening to you. So for and me, I look at that. He made him look so not average, but he beat him. He yeah, beat him up. He beat him up. That's yeah, what it was. And the speed and the power on those shots. I'm looking at I'm thinking, React Paul, I don't think Reactor's got anything for that. I don't think any of these men have anything for that. I think he goes up to heavyweight. Honestly, and I look at him now, and I look at him now, maybe I'm getting way too excited. But I look at him now and I'm thinking, Usyk weren't banging men around the ring like that. Usyk weren't having power on them shots. Usyk was doing no, when he boxing. Got- I don't know, man. It's not like hey, where you can say that he's that power is gonna follow him into the heavyweight division. I don't think so. I think we they're well, bigger at this point. It just won't. Well, thing is, yeah, he's a cruiserweight. He's a cruiserweight reason, or light heavy. Listen, yeah, I do hear what you're saying, and I'm not trying to. Go, I'm, I'm I'm probably getting a bit too excited, but the thing is, Usyk never had power to carry up. Usyk was always on what he was on at that level. There, this brother here, he's got power, bro. He's he's six two. Like Hollyfield's height, it's not a crazy situation. He's only had twenty. He's had twenty three fights. I'm like, mate, if he if he's if he can carry those attributes up and he looks similar to that at heavyweight, yeah, bruv, he's going to be a issue. We could have a problem. We could have a problem again. I like the way he interviews. You know, telling people he's on they, smoke as well. He's on smoke. Interviews are good. You know, and he's it's it's again, it's a good face. I kind of want the cruiserweight division to work though. I'm so ex bro. This Chamberlain fight, I'm gassed by it, bro. Like this cruiserweight yeah, division bro. could look. It's been a division that should be exciting because this is where the speed's supposed to be. It's like you mm-hmm. lot like smaller than the heavyweights, but you should be as quick and it should be kind of devastating. This this, okay. this it, what we have here. In these group of fighters should be good, but it hasn't. It's like, well, we had the moment with Akoli and Billum Smith, and that kind of just well, that was a horrible fight, really. You know, um, but then I, I thought that Akoli versus Reactpo would be fantastic. Now you say um Opataya versus Akoli should be fantastic if it allows the fight to happen. Are you with me? There's, there's good fights that can happen, like Chamberlain now. It, that fight, yeah, is the fight that I'm... I don't know who's going to steal the show on that one. Because there's so yeah, much... Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. But that's it's the same kind of thing. Because what we're really hoping for at the Cruiserweight is kind of what is looking like it's about to start happening with the light heavies. Light heavies. Where there's a lot of men and they just start mixing it up. You know, with Chamberlain it's and um, Luol, that looks like a good fight. I think Chamberlain's really coming to bring it because... You, you kind of get the sense of Chamberlain's career. He's at the cusp of being one of those guys. Somebody. It could be someone or it could just fall to... It could go bad, yeah. So I think he's coming to really make a statement. So, yeah. boy, we'll see, man. Because he's had to work a long way to rebuild his name after that Akoli thing the first time round. It's such a shame that he was the he was the, the all-round loser of it. You know, because even though um, Akoli still had these, like, he still had these kind of, not boring fights, but just terrible ones. He, he the stigma still been attached to um Chamberlain the whole way, but he's not been with Matchroom and stuff, so he's not had that. He hasn't been as lucky to get the on point rebrand. Are you mm. with me? Or let's see him again and see what he looks like. He's been on Channel Five. He's been on. He's kind of been floating around. So I'm glad well, to see that this is his moment. Nah, for real. And, and Akoli's now not with Matchroom and got the kind of the the mouthpiece of Eddie anymore. So it's like you kind of been left to the darkness. Yeah. In his time since the fight, he's just been in the darkness, fam. Yeah. So I mate, can't wait for him to come back, but again, this guy or Pattaya, I don't need him to see. Be on notice. Everybody's on notice, fam. Everyone, I be reckon, on notice. The message was sent. My prediction, just early prediction, first time laying eyes on on this guy. I think to myself, he has a couple more at cruiser, goes up to heavy, and he he does some stuff up there. I reckon he can be quite dangerous. 
It depends who's around at the time. It depends mm. on the heavyweight division, bro. We we're aging out the heavyweight division. It's actually well, that's, it's, that's what I mean. That's yeah, what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends. Okay. So, um, right. Woodley and Jared Anderson and them and there. Sorry, bro. Yeah. Well, yes. Okay. <laughs>